мне дороги подмосковные вечера. Привет и здравствуйте. Сейчас этот э, дев, девять, девять часов, да, и этот э, погода очень хорошо. Я в Санкт-Петербурге, в России, и э, я хочу сказать об русский язык и мой тел и а, мой не тоже мой ми, мечта это мой мечта и трим а, сейчас я я говорит по-английски so um, these are just some of my thoughts on Russia and Russian so right now I am in Russia yeah. But um, I just want to sort of share some of my thoughts and opinions on what I've observed here. Um, that Russians are very, very nice people. So far, I've been like I've encountered a lot of people who are extremely helpful and supportive of your Russian language, um, and I've noticed that you know it's just really, really helpful um, as far as. You know, encountering people. Почему я хочу изучать русский язык? Это моя мечта. Um, после три месяца, месяц я могу говорить по-английски. А потом я хочу хорошо знать, хорошо знать русский язык. Я думаю, это, это очень трудно. Грамматика и мой произношение не хорошо и я думаю это не это не проблем и сейчас по-английски so other things I've noticed about I just want to talk about in uh, is the weather uh, Saint Petersburg is a little bit colder I was in Moscow um, about two weeks ago and it was a little bit warmer uh, and I definitely think I like Moscow a lot better, just more culture, more history, more politics, and just, you know, interesting things to see, the Bolshoi theater, um, the monuments, but um, to be completely fair, um, St. Petersburg has just as many interesting things to see. I just saw the Hermitage, um, Gusudarsvini Hermitage, and I think it's just really cool. So, um, then also the food is really good. Um, Russians are not big on spices, or at least Russian foods that I've had have not been like very f spicy or full of different flavors, but um, it definitely makes up for it in the heartiness of, you know, kasha, pilmini, um, and different things like that, borscht. Um, and so, the, my language method methodology, um, has been to just study with the courses, the, the books that I talked about before I got here. Okay, so I'm just um, picking up where I left off and I was talking about like the language methodology um, and motivation to keep studying the language. Um, my methodology has been to try to have conversations with Russians, um, whether I am out, you know, sort of having a meal, I have special like officiant or waiters that I talk to and they're excited to sort of like help me learn Russian and maybe they I help them with English. Um, my goal is to have like at least five conversations in Russian. Um, at first it was like a five minute conversations, now I've kind of shortened it to just conversations in general so that I don't lose motivation. But there have been days where you know I'm here and I'm just like oh why am I in Russia and like this is really hard, the language is hard, the grammar is hard, everything about it. It's like I might say all these things or want to say these things and you know it's just it comes out and it's not conjugated um, and the tenses are wrong and it's just you know very discouraging but at the same time I have to realize I'm here to learn Russian so I keep at it and um, oh. um, St. Petersburg is a beautiful city so I definitely want to put some uh, pictures up for my vlog and um, 
to, yeah, yeah. So it's just important to stay motivated and not lose sight of your language goals. So, yay. Um, and definitely, I don't want to fall into English traps, so I try to stay away from English speakers. Not to be antisocial, but more, um, I, can, I can be around them, but I, I try to make sure that I keep my goals in mind for language learning. So, um, yeah, это все. И um, until next week, um, до свидания. Спасибо. Пока, пока. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Пока. До свидания.